Welcome to the cabin of fear. What was it you said? The cabin. There are several compelling reasons to believe that Friday the 13th's Jason Voorhees may actually be a deadite from the Evil Dead franchise. Firstly, both characters share a similar backstory of being resurrected or brought back to life in some way. In the Evil Dead, the deadites are demonic spirits that possess and animate dead bodies, much like Jason's seemingly immortal and unstoppable presence in the Friday the 13th films. Additionally, both Jason and the deadites exhibit superhuman strength, resilience, and a relentless desire to kill. Finally, there have been subtle references and Easter eggs in both franchises that suggest a potential connection between the two, leading many fans to speculate that Jason Voorhees could be a deadite in disguise. The essence of the story revolves around the deeply rooted anguish of a mother who has tragically lost her son, Jason. This profound sorrow becomes the catalyst for an extraordinary exploration into the depths of maternal love and the desperate lengths a grieving mother would go to bring her beloved child back to life. Stop, Jason! Your work is in Marcus suggests that it is only natural for this tormented mother, consumed by grief and driven to the brink of insanity, to consider delving into the forbidden realms of dark arts and occult practices. It is this audacious notion that ignites the imagination and sets the stage for a captivating narrative twist. Imagine, if you will, a mother so consumed by her grief that she embarks on a treacherous journey into the realm of the supernatural. In her relentless pursuit to resurrect her cherished son, she stumbles upon a sinister artifact of immense power, the Necronomicon. This ancient tome, known as the Book of the Dead, holds the key to unlocking unimaginable forces and unleashing unspeakable horrors. Marcus ingeniously connects the Friday the 13th universe with the Evil Dead franchise, as he reveals that the book used by Jason's mother is none other than the Book of the Dead featured in Sam Raimi's seminal horror series. Oh, it is canon. It's in Friday the 13th. Sorry, I, I made one of those movies. It's canon. Deal with it. Blood that was used However, Marcus adds a fascinating twist to the tale. Although the Book of the Dead and Jason Goes to Hell shares similarities with its Evil Dead counterpart, it is not an exact replica. In the vast and mystifying realm of Lovecraftian lore, multiple iterations of the Necronomicon exist. This intriguing detail adds depth and complexity to the narrative, expanding the possibilities and blurring the boundaries between different dimensions and realms of existence. Now, picture this haunting scene, Jason. A young boy trapped in the depths of Crystal Lake for three agonizing decades suddenly awakens from his watery tomb. Covered in tangled vegetation and slimy residue, his mind muddled by the passage of time and the trauma he endured, Jason emerges into a world he barely recognizes. In a mesmerizing and chilling moment, he gazes upon the shore and witnesses the brutal decapitation of his own mother. The sheer shock and anguish of this sight propel him forward, fueled by a primal instinct for revenge and justice. It is within this context that the power of the Book of the Dead becomes evident. By invoking its arcane rituals and incantations, Jason's mother succeeds in resurrecting him, albeit in a different form. He grows into a formidable and relentless force, driven by an insatiable hunger for retribution against those who have wronged him. Marcus emphasizes that Jason does not necessarily become a deadite, as some may assume. The Book of the Dead encompasses a vast array of malevolent entities, each with its own unique nature and characteristics. To confine Jason's resurrection to a singular category would be a disservice to the intricacies and nuances of the supernatural world created within the film. The question of whether Jason Voorhees' resurrection through the Book of the Dead is canonically accurate is resoundingly answered by Marcus Yes It Is. As the director of an official entry in the beloved Friday the 13th franchise, Marcus's creative vision and collaboration with series originator Sean Cunningham solidify the legitimacy of this narrative twist. It is a canonical aspect of the franchise, firmly embedded within its rich mythology. For those who may have reservations or objections to this innovative approach, Marcus's response is clear this is not a mere fan film or a creative interpretation. Jason Goes to Hell is an official installment in the Friday the 13th canon, backed by the original series creator himself. It is a bold and daring exploration of the depths of horror and the boundaries of storytelling, pushing the envelope and challenging preconceived notions. Number 2. How does the resurrection of Jason Voorhees through the Book of the Dead differ from the Dead Eights in the Evil Dead franchise? Both concepts involve supernatural resurrection and malevolent entities. They possess distinct characteristics and origins that set them apart. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. 
Firstly, the Book of the Dead and Jason Goes to Hell and the one featured in the Evil Dead franchise are not identical. Although they share similarities and both possess immense power, they are separate iterations of the Necronomicon. On the other hand, Jason Voorhees' resurrection through the Book of the Dead and Jason Goes to Hell does not transform him into a deadite. Instead, it brings him back to life in a different form, retaining his iconic appearance and characteristics. Although Jason becomes an unstoppable force driven by a primal instinct for revenge, he does not possess the same demonic qualities as the deadites. His resurrection is more closely tied to his personal history and the grief-driven actions of his mother, rather than being influenced by external supernatural forces. Furthermore, the Deadites in the Evil Dead franchise are known to possess and manipulate anyone they come into contact with, turning them into mindless servants or vessels for their evil intentions. In contrast, Jason Voorhees remains an individual entity, driven by his own motivations and desires. While he may exhibit a single-minded pursuit of revenge, he is not under the control or influence of external entities like the Deadites. It's important to note that the distinct differences between the resurrection of Jason Voorhees and the Deadites in the Evil Dead franchise contribute to the unique narrative and mythology of each respective series. These variations provide depth and complexity to the characters and their stories, allowing fans to explore different aspects of supernatural horror and the boundaries of the genre. 3. Abilities Deadites possess a range of supernatural abilities, including superhuman strength, agility, and the power to regenerate their bodies. They can also shape-shift, manipulate their surroundings, and exhibit otherworldly powers. Ash, help me. Let me out of here. I'm, I'm all right now. I'm all right now, Ashley. I'm all right. In contrast, Jason Voorhees, following his resurrection, retains his iconic appearance and abilities, such as his superhuman strength and resilience. However, he does not possess the same shape-shifting or reality-bending abilities as the Deadites. 4. Motivations Deadites seek to spread chaos, evil, and suffering. They have no personal motivations or desires beyond their insatiable thirst for power and destruction. Jason Voorhees, on the other hand, is driven by his own personal history and the desire for revenge. His motivations are more focused and rooted in his past traumas and the loss of his mother. In summary, the Deadites in the Evil Dead franchise are demonic entities that possess and corrupt the living, exhibiting a wide range of supernatural abilities. They are driven by a desire to spread chaos and evil. Jason Voorhees' resurrection through the Book of the Dead, on the other hand, is a unique event specific to his character, separate from the demonic forces of the evil dead universe. He retains his individuality, pursuing his own personal motivations and exhibiting his own set of abilities. Regeneration deadites have the power to regenerate their bodies, healing wounds and injuries rapidly. This ability makes them incredibly difficult to kill or incapacitate. Supernatural Abilities of Jason Voorhees Superhuman Strength Following his resurrection through the Book of the Dead, Jason Voorhees possesses incredible physical strength. He can easily overpower and eliminate his victims, using his strength to inflict brutal and deadly attacks. Immortality After his resurrection, Jason Voorhees becomes effectively immortal. He cannot be killed through conventional means, and his physical form persists, even in the face of significant damage. King Jason Voorhees exhibits a heightened sense of stealth and tracking abilities, he can move silently and effortlessly, making it difficult for his victims to detect his presence until it is too late. Weapon Mastery Jason Voorhees is skilled in the use of various weapons, such as his iconic machete. He wields these weapons with deadly precision, enhancing his already formidable killing abilities. It is important to note that the specific abilities displayed by the Dead Eights and Jason Voorhees may vary slightly depending on the specific film or iteration within their respective franchises. Nonetheless, these abilities are recurring themes throughout their appearances following their resurrections through the Book of the Dead. Conclusion In conclusion, Adam Marcus's Jason Goes to Hell offers a captivating and boundary-breaking exploration of Friday the 13th lore. With its unique perspective on a mother's grief and supernatural journey, the film adds depth and expands the franchise's mythology. By connecting with the Evil Dead series through the Book of the Dead, Marcus introduces a fresh twist to the iconic character of Jason. If for fans of the franchise and horror enthusiasts alike, subscribing to The Cabin is a must to stay updated on the latest thrilling releases and delve deeper into the world of Friday the 13th. Welcome to the cabin of fear. What was it you said? The cabin. I don't think so.
now. Make them remember what fear 